Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom comic book template for a comic book of any size. So I, one of my first Clip Studio Paint tutorial videos was how to show you how to do a comic book template, but that was for a standard size comic book here in the United States. Um, and and so that's this one here. We'll call it this one here. That's this one here. Um, and this is for a comic book that is 6.625 uh, inches by 10.25 inches. That is the standard size of a comic book that you would see at a comic book store um, and here in the United States. Now, uh, I was asked by a viewer on that video, um, I'll leave a link to that video in the description down below. I was asked by a viewer um, how to create a template for CreateSpace. Um, so I've never used CreateSpace and CreateSpace does not provide a template, uh, which is why he asked how do you create one. Um, so from the research that I've done, um, they pretty much use the same standards that comic books use um, when you use this this size comic book uh, which means uh, the trim is 0.25 inches and the bleed is 1.25 inches meaning uh, there's 0.25 inches here actually let's do this just so everyone can see what's going on Actually, this will be, this needs to be red. So, this dimension here, and then this dimension here is the same. So, the, these are the dimensions that creative, uh, Create Space um, uses. Um, for their templates uh, when you create a comic book in CreateSpace. So that's a good thing, which means um, you can use the template in my first video if you want to create a comic book of this size, of this size here. So you can use that template. Uh, again, the link to that video is in the description down below and you should have no problems. But uh, let's say you want to create a comic book of a different size. Let's say you want to create a comic book of six inches by nine inches. Well, then, then you will need to create a different template. So what I'm going to do is in this tutorial, show you guys how to create a template for using, uh, I know this, I shouldn't use X, but X dimension by a Y dimension. So X and Y can be any number you want, right? So, and the way we're gonna do that is, let me open up a new sheet here. So if you have X inches by Y inches, and again, X and Y can be any number you want, um, all you have to do is add, um, or in this case, what I'm going to do is this here, is going to be X. Let me actually be a little bit more clear from here to here. So this way, let me draw that a little bit better so it looks clearer. Oh yeah, that's, let me try zooming in. So this line here, this blue line here, from when it goes this way and this way, this is going to be X inches. And then this, the same blue line, right? This is going to be Y inches. And so what Clip Studio Paint can do, you can, this here, well, let me try uh, blue. Yeah. This here and this here, again, is this trim 
0.25 inches. That means 0.25 inches here and down here. So remember you have it twice and also here and here. So again, you have it twice. So this number times two, which equals 0 0.5 inches. So when in Clip Studio Paint, we're gonna do our setup so that we'll take X inches and we will subtract 0 0.5 inches to get our um, our safe zone. And we will do the same thing for the Y. So we'll do Y inches minus 0.5 to get uh, also the safe zone. So that, that way we'll have uh, this, this first one will give us this line here and then this second one will give us this line here. And then we'll do the same thing for the bleed, uh, which in this case is way up here in the top, like uh, this line, this going this way, right? And the same for this. I should have made the canvas bigger so I could write some notes out here, but in either case, I think you guys understand it. Now remember this is 125, 0.125 inches. And again, you have to do the same thing. You have to take dimension X, whatever size your final comic book you want to make. And you have to multiply this by two because you have one down here also. So that becomes um, 0 0.25. And then you do the same thing for the Y. Oh, sorry, you have to add because we're going from this line and we're going up. So we have to add, not subtract. And this will give us the bleed. So that's what we're going to do um, to create a comic book template using any size um, you want to use. So for this example, to make things easy, um, our X will equal six, our y will equal nine. So my comic book that I wanna make is a, is a six by nine inch comic book, right? So, and that's, that's different than um, the, how I showed you guys how to make the first template, which was a six by 6.625 inch by 10.25 inch, which is, again, the standard American size comic book. So this is much easier. It's a more rounded numbers. It's a six by nine. So th these are the numbers. So what um, the the numbers that I'm going to use is um, so this line here and this line here I already know is going to be um, six inches this way and it's going to be nine inches this way. So that means um, what color did I use? Blue. So that means I know that this going to make this blue line here, I need to subtract that. So um, I'm going to use six point, uh, no, I'm going to use 5.5 .5 inches by, and then this way is going to be nine, eight, 8.5 inches. And then to go the other way, I need to add. To go this way, to get to the outermost border, um, I'm going to use six point uh, two five and 9.25. I hope this is making sense. Okay, so uh, this this here in black is what, if you look at 
how to create a template again you go to this blue uh, selection here if you look at this right here it's called binding or finish size uh, basically your what the comic book is going to be so this is going to be our finished size six by nine and then again if you look at here the border or the inner size what they call inner size that's going to be this one here this is going to be our inner size now one thing that I didn't do in the previous video was um, I didn't use this the bleed width what I ended up doing was simply um, calculating uh, because uh, Kablam's template already gave me the the full size of what the the, the paper was supposed to be which was seven inches by ten and a half um, but in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this here this bleed width uh, option and it's very convenient because uh, what it does is it automatically generates these the canvas size for you um, if I'm not mistaken uh, it when you type in a number here so we'll show you that uh, when I start creating it. So again, this is going to be our finished size. This is going to be our inner uh, size. And then this is, is going to be the canvas size, 6.25 by 9.25. So let's, let's create that real quick. So I'm gonna start here on the binding finish. Again, six by nine is our example. And the bleed width, remember it was uh, zero, 0.125 but uh, Clip Studio Paint does not do three decimal places it only does two so it rounds up so this will be uh, one point or 0.13 inches uh, again yes make sure you are in the inches for your units um, and then again remember our inner uh, dimensions was 5.5 and uh, 8.5 I'm going to leave these as zeros because I want the inner uh, border or the, the safe zone I want it directly centered on the paper now here you can see our canvas is a little bit bigger than our final um, paper uh, or our, fi our final uh, uh, comic book size um, that's okay if you want to have um, if you want to have some extra space beyond the bleed zone but um, I don't know how that will affect uh, when you save your file so what I'm going to do is since I know my comic book is going to be with with the bleed it's going to be six inches plus uh, 0.13 but remember you got to multiply this by two it's going to be 6.3 sorry I'm in the wrong spot up here 6.3 and then 9.3 this this way um, um, the canvas will be 0.1 inch bigger uh, than uh, needs to be or actually 0 0.01 inch bigger uh, and you'll see that here so here it is this is a template for a comic book that is nine oh, sorry six by nine inches and so uh, again you can create a template uh, for any size comic book you want uh, X or Y doesn't matter uh, so here's a template for six by nine and again all you have to do is um, take this number uh, of your final comic book size and subtract 0.5 it, the, these numbers here will always remain the same don't change these numbers so those numbers remain the same so again these uh, safe zone numbers this 5.5 and 8.5 for this example of a 6x9 comic book for this example 5.5 and 8.5 those were used um, 
right here in the inner border. And then to find uh, the bleed, you add, make sure you add 0.25 to your comic book dimension X and Y. And that those, those uh, whatever numbers you get here, um, which to me turned out to be this and this, I use these numbers for my canvas size, but I I bumped it up a little bit because if I'd have put uh, 0.6.5, uh, you'll see that I get a warning. See that the paper needs to be, <clears throat> excuse me, the paper needs to be set larger than the bleed zone. So that's why I just rounded it up. And in fact, you know what? You can make it seven and 10, but this is what will happen. See, you will get, <clears throat> again, excuse me. Um, what you will get is this, this here. Uh, you, can, you can pretty much see it already. So here, here is your bleed, right? This is your bleed. This is your your trim here, and then this is your safe zone here, right? So I don't know what will happen if you, uh, like, say you save your file as a TIFF to send off to the printers or uh, a PDF or whatever. I don't know that uh, if when you save it, if Clip Studio Paint will, in fact, we can try it right now. Let's see, I'm going to go to File, Export as a TIFF. And we're going to save it to the desktop. We'll call it, yeah, we'll just call it New Canvas. We'll hit Save, and we're gonna go uh, RGB. Oh, by the way, if you're sending to the printers, you want to save it as a CMYK. Uh, that's what you want to save it as. Uh, we're going to keep the size a hundred percent. So, whatever size we're working with in digital, it'll be there. And for comic books, of course. And so we'll hit OK, and we'll see. See, my suspicion is that um, Clip Studio Paint is going to save all this white space here. And I, I don't want that because uh, that'll mean the printer will have to uh, do extra work uh, when they get your files of trimming this white space out. And I don't know if, if that is something that they will do or no, you see. So here's the TIFF file. I'll open it up. And you can see, see the, the white space that it saved? Um, I need my mouse. Is that as big as it gets? All right. So you can see see the white space here. I don't uh, I don't like that. Um, I don't know if the printer will have a problem with that because uh, you can see that the blue lines are not visible. So the printer is not going to know where your safe zone is, where your trim and your bleed is. He's going to assume that it starts from the very corner up here, and then he's going to go in 0 0.125 inches. And so it's a big confusing mess. So that's why what I like to do is when I create a template for comic books, um, go back to full screen. So when I create a template, I try to get the canvas size to be. Um, this number here, this number here, I calculated in red, which is um, whatever size your final comic book you desire, plus this number that goes here, and then this number plus this number goes here. Take these numbers and kind of round it up a little bit. Um, in my case, I just, uh, because the numbers were simple, I just rounded the two to a three, and so, that was very easy for me, 6.3, and then 
9.3 and then I can hit OK and so you'll see that it has this little very small white space here this little small white space here but that's that's very marginal and I don't care about that because it that just means that my uh, trim zone or my uh, bleed zone will be maybe up to here you know and then my trim zone will be up to here it'll just be that much um, off but that's so minuscule uh, it shouldn't it shouldn't uh, be any problems for the printer uh, I mean if you look at the whole page here you can see how small it is so there's not gonna be a problem so that's how you can create a template for pretty much any comic book size you want any X to Y dimension you want um, I hope this video wasn't too confusing um, I hope um, this answered some questions on how to create comic book templates of any size um, if you got any questions, please uh, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Um, if you need something explained a little bit more in detail. Um, and please, uh, I have a playlist of uh, different uh, Clip Studio Paint tutorials. Please uh, feel free to check those out. Um, yeah, and so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, recommend it if you uh, if you know somebody who might benefit from this. So uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.